Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brett Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to talk about is an Edison Model C reproducer, and this works also with the Model H. These rebuild like an Edison diamond disc, but there's a few things you need to know. First, this is the diaphragm here, and I have I pre-cleaned it in my sudsy pneumonia over 24 hours on scrubbing with a toothbrush, and I got all the black stuff off, and Macho wants to help me rebuild a reproducer. And some 600 grit sandpaper. In the Edison diamond discs, you saw that I had a tool to help get in the ring. Well, I made one years ago, this one, and it fits in the little slots this way, so you can tighten up the retaining ring. This is made out of about 36 thousandths or 0.030 to 0, .0 whatever. I just hacked it out of a piece of sheet metal and worked on it. What you want to do is because these reproducers stand out on the machine and you see them prominently, you want to polish them out. You don't want to rebuild like this put this back together like this. Also, on the inside, you want to clean this up on the inside with 600 grit sandpaper because when they machine them, they left little ridges in here. And later diamond discs, Edison painted the inside of the diamond discs to get them smoother for better sound because you don't want to rebuild it like this. The other thing is you need to look, look for rust the retaining ring here has rust. This one doesn't have as much rust. I've cleaned this up better. So, so let me talk about this. First, you want to get some 600 grit sandpaper. And you want to take the retaining ring and you want to just gently go like that because that will flatten this out a little because they used a cutoff blade when they made these and they might be a little warped because it sets down on the this piece of washer, this metal washer we're going to put in, it helps squish the rubber gasket together because if you don't have this, the gasket peels out. This in the back is called the hinge block, just like a diamond disc, and this needs to pivot. I put this in at the start of the rebuild. You turn it around so it's out of the way of rebuilding. The diaphragm has a little piece of metal coming up out of it, steel with a hole through, that the piece of metal hooks to that and hooks to the stylus bar. A C is one length and an H is another length, and you need to know this when you're rebuilding. If you have to order one of the linkage things, you have to tell whoever you buy it from, is this for a C or a for an H? First, we put in the rubber gasket. like so. The nipple right here at the end clicks in, into it. You need to know that it's up here usually by the limit bar in the front of the reproducer. This is the front of the reproducer. This is the rear of the reproducer. Next, you're going to add the diaphragm. Like that. And you want to get the little piece of metal that sticks up with the hole that the linkage is going to hook to. You want to get it in line with the limit bar and the hinge block in the back. Now you're going to add the other gasket. And now you're going to insert the ring. Now you're going to insert the retaining ring. And then start it. You're going to tighten this down until it touches. And now you're going to do is you're going to take a your mouth, 
and you're gonna go like this, and I feel no air leaks. If you feel or hear an air leak, you wanna take the tool and just give it a quarter of a turn. Like that. No air leaks, and now listen. Because you don't want to tighten this down. You only want to tighten it down so it's the gasket seat onto the diaphragm. And then just a little bit of a quarter turn next. In the next video, I will discuss how to put in the hinge block and the linkage pin and a few other little details about this. And that's my tip for the day.